Hello brothers and sisters. This is my third and final video for this week. Before I give you the message, I want to address something that has been weighing on my spirit for a little while now. We all say that we don't care about likes, views, or subscriber numbers, and we like to believe that's true. However, if the Lord has instructed us to be watchmen and to warn the people or to encourage one another, then obviously the Lord does care about how many are watching and listening to our messages, and so we should care too. In the past three or four months, I have noticed that my videos are not getting as many views, and I have had probably a hundred people unsubscribe from me in that time. This has bothered me, and has made me feel like I'm doing something wrong. I've even prayed about this and asked the Lord what I'm doing wrong and to forgive me for whatever that may be. I don't know if YouTube is just suppressing my videos so that they don't get seen or if people are genuinely unsatisfied with my channel. Maybe it's a little of both. But I do want to say that I have only ever given and will only ever give what the Lord has given me. He gives me dreams and he tells me what to say to you in my messages. I will never give messages that tickle the ears or make you feel all warm and cozy. I'm here to give you just what the Lord directs me to give you. This channel is all truth, all Holy Spirit inspired, and nothing else. If you are offended, well, the truth is often offensive. I have always directed my viewers to take all things to the Lord in prayer, and if you are choosing not to do that, but to unsub from me instead, that is not the action of a mature Christian. And maybe you are better off looking for someone who is willing to tell you just what you want to hear. It saddens me that we are so cold toward one another, and it saddens me that we can't communicate with one another as brothers and sisters do. My email address is always posted under my videos, and if you have a problem with me, or if you need questions answered, you can always email me. That's why I leave my email address. I care about each and every one of you. I don't upload these videos for fun or for attention. I upload these videos because I care about mankind, and I want you to be ready and prepared for Jesus. If I didn't care about you, I wouldn't do what I do. I don't like being in the spotlight, and I don't care about being popular. I urge you, the next time you think about unsubbing from one of your brother or sister's channels, consider taking your issue to them and try to resolve it. Treat them like the brother or sister that they are supposed to be, instead of coldly unsubbing and never looking back. Okay, now on to the message. On August 30th, I had a dream. In this dream, I was in a church, and the pastor hadn't started preaching yet. Everybody was still coming in, and a man came in with his family. He was a Latino named John. I got excited when I saw him, and he came over to me and I hugged him. It didn't seem like I had hugged him too aggressively, but he gave me a look like I did, and he said, whoa. Then I was in my shower, and I was soaping up, and my parents came in to my bathroom, and I heard a radio talking about me and John. They were saying that we were an item. I couldn't believe they were saying this because it wasn't true. John was a married man, and I would never be linked romantically with a married man. The next time that we were in church, I was talking to him about what I had heard, and he was like, yeah, it's crazy. But then he asked me to sleep with him, and I told him I couldn't do that, and the dream was over. The Holy Spirit let me know that this is about the church. I represented the bride who was pure and holy. The shower that I was taking in the dream represents my cleansing or purification. John represents the part of the church that is often referred to as the body, and he was committing spiritual adultery. The church is often confused, thinking that the bride and the body are together, but they are not. The bride of Christ has made herself pure and holy to the Lord, while the body is still not completely committed to Christ. Up until I had this dream, I never made a distinction between the bride and the body. To me, the bride was the body, and the body was the bride. But the Holy Spirit has now clarified this for me. There is a remnant that we hear about all the time, and that remnant is the bride. I don't know how to clarify this or help you to understand this, 
So again, I'm going to urge you to take this to the Lord in prayer and ask him to give you understanding. Even I don't completely understand this. I'm only telling you what I was shown and what I was made to understand. I don't feel comfortable giving my own thoughts on this because I feel the Holy Spirit doesn't want me to. However, I hope that maybe at the very least I have given you something to search out and pray about. Perhaps the Holy Spirit desires to reveal to you who you are and which group that you belong to. Remember, don't shoot the messenger. And if you have questions or you want to talk to me about something, email me. I'm not a scary person, I promise. I do love all of you, and I pray that you are blessed. Shalom.